replaced <laughs> with friends. I had an what? inflatable Darth Maul chair. <laughs> cool. And you, you were just sitting in his lap. Yeah, that's what I was, I was about to I'm say. I'm fucking using scratch this whole time like an idiot. had that inflatable Homer chair. I didn't have an inflatable Homer chair. I didn't, have an inflatable I didn't Homer know that was a thing I'm that existed. I'm five years younger than you, so. Kids, can you relate to the inflatable Homer chair Remember story? Remember the Homer chair? <laughs> Do the Homer chair. chair. I used to sit in the Homer chair every day. <laughs> I'd say, oh, Homer, why can't you be real? Mount. Do you think anybody out there is, like, incredibly, like, insanely attracted to Homer Simpson? Yes. Yes, dude. And he's they really, got... they like, they cry every night because he's not real. They I used like to his... jerk off to Simpsons porn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it's always of, like, Marge or Lisa. Yeah. He was. <laughs> well, go... Marge is pretty unusual, too, because of her hair. Well, it was... It's because it's people like moms and people like what? that she's real... I mean, it was mostly Lee. Oh, 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 Maggie! Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> it was Homer as a sperm. Fuck. <laughs> one time I. Oh sh. One time I brought my inflatable bed outside onto the roof and I slept in the sun for a bit. <laughs> Did I you get sunburn? Were we all red oh, and pink? I, I woke up and I was really sweaty. And when I brought it back in, I cut it on a piece of glass and I couldn't use it again. Oh no. Oops. Those are, those are those weird moments that you always remember for some reason. Yeah. Do the thing where you quit and you can log back in and he's under the tree. Kids, kids react to, kids, kids react to long, long nail. <laughs> kids react to waiting in line. <laughs> kids react to daddy looking at me. <laughs> that sounds really spooky. <laughs> daddy looking at me. Kids react to falling into <laughs> splinters. <laughs> <laughs> like just a pile. Of <laughs> Chris, kids, did no. That, like, well, now that you brought shunned. it up. Just Tell me, how would you react? <laughs> how would you react if you woke up in bed, like at errands and everything, where you're actually staying? Yeah. And, but you woke up in the middle of the night and you saw your dad standing in the doorway <laughs> with splinters in him. No. <laughs> My dad. Chris, just who like, is the splinter? And man. then you went, Dad, and then he left, and I, you got him. <laughs> no, no, he goes. He goes I, would, I would assume that he like he followed me. And I'd be really, really fucking weirded out. He goes, Chris. But you couldn't find him after. I've come like, all the you, way from Ireland. You I need help getting the splinters out. <laughs> Honestly, I would just uh, assume it was a hallucination. Because Did I tell you about the hallucination I had like two weeks yeah, ago? Yeah, you told me about it. Did you? I don't remember I, I went to bed and, and like I never, ever, ever sleep on my back because every time I do, I have a hallucination. Really? That's, that's a good way to get sleep paralysis. Yeah. And, that's and, interesting. And so this one time I was like, well, it's been like fucking three years since I tried napping on my back. Maybe I'll try it. I fucking sit on my back for like ten minutes and then... I, like I'm in another world. I just I, I, I'm hallucinating, but I'm still awake, and I know I'm still awake. And then I just get this like fucking clear vision of like this cockroach and a spider just like crawling on each other. And I was just like, okay, okay no, wake up. And I just woke <laughs> up, and I was like, okay, I'm not doing that again. That's uh, really interesting. It, it, it was like it was bright as day in front of my eyes, just the spider and like, this weird cockroach hybrid thing. Interesting. I hated it. I hate them both. I hate cockroaches and spiders. I don't mind spiders, but I hate cockroaches and I hate. But centipedes. this thing was like a weird fucking. Ugh. I don't like you. Centipedes are fucking awful. I hate them. I'm They're glad all... we don't have house centipedes here in California because oh, they freak please. me out. Oh, please. Don't even I think we've had that. this discussion already. <laughs> yeah, because it's the stupidest conversation every time I've heard it. Why? No, I... Co I cockroaches are fucking har disgusting and are, are way worse than house, house centipedes. House centipedes are completely harmless. House centipedes stay They're not. They bite. The they got venom. No, they, well, they fucking don't. don't. Not, yes, they do. They not, don't no. fucking bite. Oh, well, not all centipedes. I've lived with them for years on end. They don't fucking bite. Oh, let's look up my house. And you're going to say they bite. It's because... In a rare situation, if you actually shake one up and hold it in your hand <laughs> for an hour, maybe it'll eventually bite you. I'm looking at Hashtag not all centipedes. What they I fucking do is they break their legs off, which is why they have so uh, many of them. Unless you provoked, house centipedes won't bite, but they do bite if you provoke them. You're a fucking idiot! No, That's not! That's what I just said! Yeah, yeah if that you fucking means hold they it bite. in your hand and shake it. Guys, don't, don't, don't get near it. Why would they you pick bite. it up? If you pick it up and shake it for an hour, it might bite you. Why would you shake it? They would bite you anyway. It, it sees you as a threat. If provoked. If that's every animal in the fucking world, exactly. that's like saying exactly. Like saying, exactly. Like saying, exactly. Like saying, oh shit, I don't want to sit next to Matt. He's gonna bite me. Well, the, and you are mm. silly. Don't get near that baby. You are if like silly Billy. It, it might bite you. That means if I held a cockroach, he's not gonna bite me. Therefore, he's less threatening than a fucking house centipede. Therefore, See, you're you know, wrong. A roach would try to bite you. Its mouth isn't big enough, though. But he, no, he, he I've been bitten by. I got bitten by a grasshopper once. That shit hurts. <laughs> it's also roaches fucking love being everywhere, and they're everywhere. They reproduce like crazy. Yes. They trip themselves. If you see one, there's a billion others. How centipede you'll see one and it hides. Okay, so it fucking stays out of the way. Also, there's I don't. Two scenarios. You, you're in bed. Also, they're smaller. They have a billion legs, but they're smaller yeah. than cockroaches. And they, yes. they can't get everywhere cockroaches can. And they don't yeah. fly. 
I always see how centipedes like the size of your fucking hand. Uh, really. that's, they're pretty, they, they can get they big. They are not the size of your they're not. They're not as big as cockroaches, but they're pretty big. I got bitten by once. Uh, bitten by one once. I was in the woods and I was taking a shit while I was camping <laughs> and it bit my ankle. A house centipede? No, just a big centipede. We had a really bad problem with house centipedes in uh, it hurt. Philadelphia. I used to always see them in house the house. centipedes, they just scare me because of all the legs. I don't like yeah. bugs with long legs. They look fucking disgusting. They're scary. They kill spiders too. They kill cockroaches too, I think. Yeah, they're, they're I, I helpful like to have around, that. just like, like I can't stand they looking kill, at them. They kill spiders too. <laughs> <laughs> I would rather a spider than a house centipede. I would rather well, spiders, a spider than a roach yes. or a house centipede. Yeah, spiders at least eat everything If else. I have to choose between a roach and a house centipede, I'm going with the house centipede. Spiders aren't gross. Spiders I probably creepy, would too, gross. just because cockroaches are a fucking infestation. Yeah, They'll exactly. Get into That's why I wouldn't want them. Also, yeah. they're house thicker, centipedes, they're heavier, they're House bigger, centipedes crunchier. go to the trouble Crunchy. of staying out of your way. Cockroaches can also fly at your face. Yeah. They, uh... Like, they, you know, they- Yeah, house centipedes always are sticking to a wall or a floor, they can't Yeah, fly. they don't- they don't like being out in the they're open. Really so if you're gonna try to kill too. it, you have an easy time killing also, it. Also, house centipedes won't get in your bed with you and, and climb on your no, legs. No, they stay away, they Fucking try cockroaches. to hide from you. Cockroaches, cockroaches will climb in your bed with you. It's happened to me. <laughs> really? It's happened yeah. I- in my first apartment, I woke up in the middle of the night and- Because there was something itching on my leg, and I was like, oh, I don't like that, and so I woke up. And there's this I, I, the, I kicked off this fucking uh, cockroach, yeah. and I had a fucking egg sac stuck to my leg. Oh. It was awful, and I couldn't. He sleep. never got it off. I couldn't. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> it's this is it right thing. here. Look. <laughs> it became my new ball sack. <laughs> but it was so it was so fucking gross, and I was so freaked out. I I slept with the light on. Oh uh, yeah. If I'm like if I'm in my bedroom and I see a cockroach. Afterwards. And it gets away, like if I try to kill it and it gets away and I can't find it, yeah. I shut my door, stick a towel under it, and go sleep in the other room. Yeah. I, I will not tolerate cockroaches. <sighs> it sounded like an angry teacher. I will not tolerate cockroaches <laughs> in this classroom. <laughs> That's what I hate about I like cockroaches it. too, is that you step on them and then they got eggs on you. <sighs> and they crunch too. You ever stepped on one barefoot by accident? I don't want Fucking bugs in my house. Feeling. And they go... <laughs> Spiders I'll tolerate because I, I spiders <laughs> I think are neat and they also eat the other bugs so I'm fine with that. But. I like jumping spiders. I think they're really cute. Hey, the tiny ones. You, you yeah. know what else eat other bugs? House oh, centipedes. Yeah, it's true. They do. I mean, that's why I'm saying it the would be better thing, than having cockroaches. The only thing I'm saying is how centipedes look scarier. That's all I'm saying. And th I mean, that's the that's the clincher for me is that they I don't like how they look. They, they look creepy and alien. Yeah, cockroaches are somewhat. Not like I'm that. glad I've never had to deal with bed bugs though, because that that bed bugs are the worst. Thing. Thing. You're yeah. you're fucked for life. Like you just can't get rid of them. No, and they follow you everywhere. That's it from that point on. What really? Yeah, yeah, because they're, they're gonna practically get... impossible. You have to. What you would have to do is you would have to get rid of every piece of clothing, every piece of furniture you own, every you know pillow, pillowcase, stuffed animal, everything, every pair of socks. Like you can't. You have to basically start fresh. How do you even get them? I mean. Like if you even if, if you start fresh, you got to be dirty. so careful not to let them get into the new clothes you're buying or something, because mm. they they will. Whoa. Never had them, but they have to shut down entire buildings like for good for those. Jeez. If you ever see a mattress on the side of the road, kids, don't pick it up. Don't get on. <laughs> nope. Don't sit on a couch. You see. If on the you're side stupid of the road. enough to pick up like something like that from the well, surprisingly, well, Julian, you were worrying me because you were looking at a couch you saw on the side of the road. Probably just because it looked neat. I don't. I, don't, I okay. doubt I was gonna. Okay, because I up. would never want to pick up anything like that. No. When I was a I freshman, I don't even trust like the Craigslist stuff. I have a worry about there being bed bugs. On yeah, so would I. Yeah. When I was a freshman, I uh, I was coming back into my dorm one night, and these two drunk frat guys were like, really excited because they had a big mattress with them and they were carrying it into the elevator with me, and my roommate and I we saw them and we're like, what's with the mattress? Like, dude, we just found a. F Fucking free mattress on the side of the road. Yeah, it's perfectly that's... good. We're taking it up to our room. And they were like so excited about it. And they just took it up to the room. And I was like, you guys are fucking idiots. <laughs> if there's a mattress on the side of the road, it's on the side of the road for a reason. People don't throw away perfectly good mattresses. I do. Chris, why the fuck would you do that? I just get sick of them. Okay, well, that's stress fair. Yeah, sick of looking at them. I don't like them because there's no bed bugs in them. <laughs> I like that sand true. I like the bed bugs. I mean, I pour a bad bug in my pee hole. Bad bugs. Bad in bugs. Minecraft, <laughs> in real life, <laughs> <laughs> I like what you for you add that. Real life, Brad Brug, Brad Brug, Brad, Brad Brug. That's Brad a Pitt. that's a really good enemy from Pikmin. Yeah, yeah. I love them. I they're, fucking hate they're, them. They're, they're cute, really? but they steal shit, dude. Yeah, but they're some of my. Favorites. I like the one, the big ones. It's <laughs> shaped yeah. like a shaped like a loaf of bread. Yeah, I love those. 
I mean, I hate them. They gave us in in when Ryan and I did a Pikmin playthrough. There were like three episodes where we They're encountered the ones that, that shit. They're that you smash their heads on the. Yeah, they they grab onto something and you suck it up into the onion yeah. and it hits its head. I love them. They're very cute, but they're a pain in the ass. And the part it gives you is an unnecessary shit part. I think it's the chair. Yeah, it's the no, no, it's the um, uh, it's the floaty. It's the yeah. It's the tube. But it's, it's so frustrating when I'm trying to take a part back and the little bread bugs come and they try That's to steal I, it. I always take them out on the first day that, I, that I'm there. Bread bro. 